Quad Star Tuning today doing a little unboxing video of our universal 6.5 turbo diesel lift pump relay harness. Um, the goal of this guy is to take the load off your factory oil pressure switch and connect as easily as possible. So what you'll get here is lift pumps not included. It's just here for reference. It's available separately. We have a bunch of options for lift pumps. But you'll get the lift pump relay harness and you'll get one of these two connections. So we'll take the main harness out of the bag here and we'll notice that it has a single heavy red connection. That's our power supply. And now the differences over the years require us to have two different connection styles. So for the older trucks, you'll get this bag, which is a longer lead, connects into this guy here. And this is our power supply for 92, 93, and 94. So 1992 to 1994, 6.5 trucks that have the electric lift pump. They have a fuse box or a power center on the firewall, kind of on the passenger side behind the engine. So this is going to extend over to that area. <clears throat> That's why it's a lot longer than some of the newer trucks. But this gives us our inline fuse because there is no fuse such that um, that power bar is hot all the time as distribution block so we need to add the fuse this will connect directly to one of the lugs in there they're all hot so you can connect it to whichever one's available or easiest to get to you will have to remove that cover on the firewall but other than that that gives us our main power supply we'll go over the other connections next but we need to first talk about if you have a 1995 or newer truck you're going to get this style connection. It's the same. It's going to plug in and adapt our relay. This is going to go to your underhood fuse relay center or a fuse box under the hood on the United States driver's side and connect to an auxiliary lug on the outside of the fuse box. So those lugs are already there. You just take the nut off, attach this guy. And if you don't have a fuse for aux A or aux B, we give you the fuse, otherwise you can keep it as a spare. We just include it because some trucks didn't have that. Say for example, you didn't have factory trailer brakes or something, that fuse might not be in there um, from the factory. So just hang on to that or add it as needed. So now that we have power to our relay, we need to complete the ground connection and the connection to the lift pump. So how that works, I'm gonna remove this just for the video here. So in our relay harness, the next connection we want to make is the ground. So this main heavy black ground needs to go to an intake manifold bolt or stud accordingly just to give us a, a good ground because the engine's already grounded directly battery cables. So anywhere you can connect, that'll get you a solid ground. It'd be good to go. It just needs to be able to support the amperage of the lift pump so don't like connect it to the fender or, or something that doesn't have a solid ground. And now we can mount the relay, if you haven't already, just onto the firewall anyway, anywhere like around the master cylinder on the firewall. Sometimes there's existing connection spaces or a place you can drill. You might have to remove the firewall cow if you're not using a self-tapper, but, but pretty easy. You can mount the relay anywhere, totally sealed from the elements, so you'd be good to go. Now, the long lead on the relay harness is going to run down to the factory lift pump area and down there we are going to connect this single plug into where you remove the factory connection so the the truck side of the wiring that's in place we're going to repurpose the factory lift pump pump plug to trigger our new relay so this uses factory wiring the oil pressure switch and everything still keeps all the same functionality but triggers our relay on the low amperage side with the factory wiring and the final connection is to your lift pump this is our uh, newer direct fit lift pump kit if you're not familiar with it just for purposes of this video to show you how easy the connection is um, but really applies to any lift pump so the other plug with the heavy power and ground wire is going to power your lift pump whatever style you use factory lift pump or aftermarket you're done now so you have your trigger wire connected to the truck wiring, you got your lift pump connected, you have your ground connected, and we went over 
how to do our main fused power supply depending on the year of your truck. Do you have any questions? Uh, shoot us an email, support at We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.